Hello and welcome to part 19 of Yane the Giant. So in this part we're going to try to get everyone back to back scratch. Um, I expect that some problems are going to arise and yeah that looks normal. Looks good to me. So I'll see you when the problems eventually arise. Um, we're just going to politely go the other way. They, they don't mind. Or are they the other way? Oh, bounty hunters, we should be okay. <laughs> Although, soon enough, everybody's gonna have a bounty, to be fair. Oh boy. <laughs> you don't see anything. Oh no, they saw us. Alright, well, luckily it's just grass pirates. We will be okay, but a few people are gonna get hurt. Uh oh, that is not a grass pirate. Um, make sure Yane takes care of that. Oh, we're just going to keep right clicking it. Tell it's dead. There we go. Okay, now I'll take care of the rest of the grass pirates. And we should be okay. They're going to be unconscious for a bit. Let's set up a couple beds. To rest here for a little. You have the other bed, right? Yeah. Okay. You and you into bed, since you're the other two who actually fight. All right. Well, once I've done resting up, I'll see you then. All right, on our way we go. We're getting pretty close. Not as much trouble as I, I expected, but that I should not have said those words out loud. Uh, I think the Blackbeards are generally okay. Right? Never mind, we're okay. Oh, that was mine. Sorry about that. All right, we actually made it. I mean... Considering our party composition of one actual fighter and four slaves, who are mostly missing limbs, except for one of them, I think uh, we did pretty good to actually make it. Now let's go see if we can find a surgeon to change our guys' names. And, well, firstly, let's try to get these guys some prosthetic limbs. We gotta get our prosthetic limb healed up as well. Um, should I just run to Brink and turn this guy in? Yeah, I'm gonna do that with just Yane, because they're pretty quick. Um, um, nah, first we'll sell our stuff. Yane just will have to not repair their arm yet. Save it for after we turn this guy in. But once we turn this guy into the United Cities, we are going to be completely hostile towards them. From that point on, it's just important that the Reavers don't come back for these guys. Alright, so you need a right arm. That's masterwork. And you need a right leg. <laughs> They've got very high quality stuff. Well, I guess um, we're spending a bunch of money. And the other guy just needs everything. Stealth really matter? No, not really. And you just need everything. Here goes all our money. That way you can at least run away. Actually, we're just gonna get you these. 
we can't afford more, I'm afraid. Then this is only 800, so there's no point in that. Thieves are, isn't really worth it for me. But we can, everyone can walk now. Let's go, big improvements. Now we gotta sell all our gear, all the junk we've been picking up. That is not it, neither is it. But all these animal skins. I don't know if we're ever gonna use this. Maybe someday though. Um, yeah, I think we'll make you a saber. Saber guy as well as them. Your porn is fine. This one's slightly better. It's got worse penetration. So never mind, it's not slightly better. Keep that for the fruit. Then we can just sell the rest. Make some of our money back at least. We'll save these for if we ever go up to Black Desert City. And I'd like to get you two training backpacks as well. Because we need it. Your left arm. They don't even have one, right? Yeah. All right. Now we can actually move. Should get these guys some pants, probably. Let's go see if they got any training backpack stuff. Those come first. Dust coats, ooh, capes are nice. Turning backpacks first though. Why is it 10% more expensive? Not sure. Not a big deal though. And you should get a cape. Because we can afford it. And you get a cape. Then another sleeping bag is always nice. We have plenty of food for now. Anything to sell? We'll just sell that. We'll find something better eventually. Sell this as well. All right, now let's go turn in the million. And then after that, I think we're prepared to raid Eye Socket and free as many slaves as we can up there. Oh wait, I gotta look for a surgeon. There should, might be some in the bar. Let's find out. All right, no luck. So to Brink we go. This time not to declare war, but just to turn in our guy. All right, here we are. I think we should be able to turn him in just inside there. Hopefully. Nope. Some other building then. Maybe this one. Never turn it in. Yeah, it's probably this guy. Let's go. Alright, now we look for the Guild of Surgeons and then we go to try to free some more slaves. 
because heck, heck, the United Cities to death. No guilt, no surgeons around here, so we're just going to get right down to business. Heading up to Eye Socket and freeing some slaves. Oh, actually, got to get Yin repaired first. So I take it back. We're going to get right around to business eventually, someday. All right, here we are. I honestly have no clue how strong this outpost is going to be. Um, but I do know they have harpoon turrets. So we're just going to casually set up in a way where we'll be able to jump on the harpoon turrets right away. Okay, they're just slaver guards, not samurai. Alright, I'm setting one rule for myself before I start this. These guys are all dedicated to the fight. They will not back down so long as Yin is fighting. If any of them die, they stay dead. But if Yin dies, we're that to start. Not for anyone else, though. But here goes nothing. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy. Can we beat up already? I might end up losing some limbs here. Who are you, slaver boss? Okay. Nope, their arm was already missing. Not totally surprising that they all went down. Just try to take him out quickly. Heal whoever we can. Stay down. I don't have a med kit. Go grab one from them. Okay, fun glitch. Nah, they're not going to leave them alone. There's just so many of them. You should sneak. Oh no. Oh, a slave master. We definitely want to take him down. Steal all his money. Oh, some rebel farmers have come to help. He's got good stats, to say the least. Oh boy. Yeah, the noble guards are going to be trouble. should back up a bit. We're definitely gonna go down. We might lose all of our newly made friends. Luckily I haven't named him yet, right? <laughs> oh my. Such is the dangerous life of trying to free slaves. These guys have amazing stats. being enslaved or what looks like it yeah I guess we had to drop our weapon I'll drop all I get just to be safe because I know it can be silly sometimes make stuff disappear 
Ugh, don't tell me that you've made their weapon disappear. Okay, drop everyone else's stuff. So that it doesn't disappear. And it looks like we got a new part of our journey. How about that? Drop, drop, drop. We are once again the enslaved. Well, surely they're going to heal us up, right? They're just going to leave us to die? Right? Maybe once they're done healing their guys, they will. But yeah, new part of our journey. Let's see who makes it to the next part. We definitely overestimated our strength. Those noble guards are very strong. But it looks like everyone's actually going to survive, other than maybe them. They might end up dying. Everyone else got healed, though, and repaired. But then, I'm going to try to heal them before... Okay, we are able to. Just get back in. Oh, the Blackbeard showed up, huh? Oh, another slave. Hmm. If it wasn't for those noble guards, we definitely could have killed them all. Um... What's going on now? Hard to see. Is he enslaving a slaver and they're not doing anything about it? Well, I feel like something is going to be done about it. All right, we got to prepare our future escape. out there. Let's see if we can sneak out there. Okay. Easy enough. Okay. Let's see we'll put this guy here. people their stuff or at least put all their stuff nearby uh oh bye bye gonna run out here we want at least one person free if we can help it okay run away This guy should be easy enough for us. They are fairly skilled, but we are even more skilled. Swords worth a good bit, though. Okay. So now, we go grab stuff. All the stuff. And 
we try to take out any stragglers. We want to keep whoever we can down. stuff. My shirt's nice though. We don't want to be fighting slaves. Fight the guy who's not a slave. Oh, that's not a real slave. Just someone pretending to be a slave. Maybe we can break people out now? Okay, let's try to break people out. Next stage of the plan. <laughs> they immediately get back in. some fighting. I think we found friends. Oh, your back is messed up, huh? Where's our gear? We got the black one. Yeah, your gear's over here. Go get it. These guys are low level, should be easy enough to deal with. You finally have lockpicked. Start the next bunch. You can escape. Okay, you can get out of there. I don't know where your stuff is. That was mine. So just try to leave. I feel like these guys should be a bit easier. We're just not swinging that often, huh? Wasn't able to get away. Uh oh. So only those guys that we're really worried about. So as long as they're not fighting us, we should be able to clean up this mess. Okay. Just give me my shirt. Okay, I think we were able to clean up the mess a little bit. Let's just make sure to keep who we can down. There we go. We do want to kill the noble eventually. 
but it doesn't have to be right now. Just try to get our situation settled a bit first. Okay, go grab your gear. I believe this was your gear. Not ours. I take it back. This is not our gear. Okay, that's my fault. I thought this was ours, but it is not. Oh, so that's why they attacked us before. I see. Okay, you two just leave if you can. While Yane tries to hold them off. Oh, jeez. There's so many of them. Never gonna work out that way. You know, that's a better way to store stuff. Oh, I totally forgot we had this. And I need a left arm. All right, but I think that's enough for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. We got some interesting adventures ahead of us. That's for saying.